Hi, welcome back to you, Deep Brown Honey, or welcome for the first time if this is your first video. Today we're going to make chili cheese enchiladas. So we want to start by getting our cheeses all shredded using pepper jack, um, extra sharp yellow cheddar, and a bit of asadero. Um, we're going to make a chili to go inside of the enchiladas. The chili is just ground sirloin, a can of diced tomatoes with habanero, a can of tomato sauce, a can of black beans, and a can of green chilies with taco seasoning. I am multitasking, so I'm also working on the chili gravy at the same time. The chili gravy is, you just simmer some oil, sprinkle in some flour, just make that kind of basic roux. I also like to add cumin, hot Mexican chili powder, and garlic powder to the roux. Um, after it's cooked a bit, you're going to pour in your enchilada sauce and a bit of water um, and let it cook. Cook it until it's the consistency of gravy. It may thicken up too much. If that's the case, you know, just add a bit more water. Um, and after your chili has cooked for about 10 to 15 minutes, go ahead and add a cup of cheddar cheese and a tablespoon of masa, which is just corn flour. Um, it will thicken up the chili. And then after it cooks for a few more minutes, um, take it off the heat and let it cool so that you can assemble it without burning your fingers. Um, I'm also taking the time to lightly fry my tortillas. I find that this really helps with the enchiladas falling apart. And enchiladas, I guess, are soggy by nature, but this, it really does something. It adds more bite to it, so I really like it. You can skip this step if you like. And obviously, don't fry them crispy. They still need to be, you know, malleable to roll. Um, so once you have everything ready, you're going to assemble the enchiladas. Um, chili gravy goes on the bottom of the pan, and then you'll take a few tablespoons of the chili and roll that up in an enchilada in a tortilla that has been dipped in regular enchilada sauce. You don't want to dip it in gravy; that's too thick. Um, but then you just stuff and roll and do that until your pan is completely full. Um, after you have filled up the pans, you will go ahead and spoon some chili gravy over the top of all of your enchiladas and then cover that with as much of the shredded cheese as you like. Um, I actually made three pans of enchiladas here. Um, two with chili in them, um, which is why I'm sprinkling garlic peppers just so I can tell which ones have meat. And then another for my daughter who doesn't eat uh, meat of just cheese on the inside. Um, and then this is it. Voila. They're really delicious. Tex-Mex is my favorite kind of food and chili gravy is one of my favorite things in the world. So I really love this recipe and I hope you guys too. Wait, I hope you guys do too. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, and that's it. So thank you for watching. As always, I hope you have a really great day. Goodbye.